Here's a pair of rabbit ears I bought at my local thrift store for four bucks. And today I'm gonna to modify these to turn them into a TV antenna that works with today's digital televisions. The point of this video is to show you that you don't have to spend a lot of money on a TV antenna to receive free over the air TV channels. Back in the days of analog TV, it was common for rabbit ears like this or even a loop antenna to be included with the purchase of an old box style CRT television like this. All of these old analog TVs always have this hole located in the top center of the TV set. And a lot of people might not know what that's for. Well, the purpose of it is to install your rabbit ears into, just like that. And then you would take your twin lead wire and connect that to a couple of terminals on the back of the television. And you could adjust your rabbit ears and pull in all your local analog TV stations. Well, with digital television, it's not quite that simple. And even though this old analog TV can no longer receive any digital channels, these rabbit ears are still useful. One of the other reasons I bought these rabbit ears besides the price is the fact that the elements on the measure 39 inches long, which make them perfect for low VHF TV reception. Most antennas made today don't have long elements made for low VHF, but in my area, I have two channels on low VHF on channels two and four. So as these are, these old rabbit ears won't connect to your new digital TV because number one, there's no hole for this pin to sit in. And number two, new TVs don't use twin lead antenna wire anymore. But using a few commonly available parts, we can turn these old rabbit ears into an antenna that'll work great in the digital age of TV. So the first problem we have to solve is matching up this old twin lead wire to a piece of modern day coax cable. And to do that, we're going to use this matching transformer. Now I happen to have one of these things laying around already, but you can buy these at local hardware stores for usually a couple of bucks. And what they do is allow you to connect your twin lead terminals to these screws and it converts it to a 75 ohm RF connector that you can match up to a piece of coax cable. So all we have to do is Install our twin lead terminals under these screws and tighten them down. Just like that. Now the next step is to match up the coax cable to the 75 ohm transformer. And to do that, we're gonna use another commonly available part. This is known as an RF coupler. Normally this is used to connect two pieces of coax cable together to make a longer run of coax. But all we have to do to use this is twist this in to our coax cable connector, like that. And then just press it in to our matching transformer. And now our rabbit ears are ready to be connected to a new digital TV. So these rabbit ears are ready to connect to a new TV now as they are. All you have to do is twist this coax cable onto the RF connector, which is located on the back of your television and run a channel scan. Now, if you have strong reception in your area, you could certainly use these as an indoor antenna. And if you want, you could actually just lay these behind your TV on a table but uh, if you want a little more flexibility in terms of being able to adjust these, I'm going to show you how to make a quick little stand out of some scrap wood. Here's a simple stand I made with some scrap wood I had in my garage. Just two pieces of wood screwed together from the underside. Tried to make it as neat as possible. And on the top, the hole is uh, just slightly bigger than that plastic pin on the rabbit ears. And that'll just sit in here like this. And now we can just plug that into the TV, run a channel scan, and this way you can adjust the rabbit ears for an indoor antenna to get the best possible reception. Now I have bad luck in my area when it comes to indoor TV reception. All three channels I get are on the VHF band, so an outdoor antenna is really a must. So what I'm gonna do here is make another stand with a longer piece of wood to make a cheap outdoor TV antenna. 
So most of the wiring is going to be the same to turn this into an outdoor antenna. Of course, you're going to need a longer piece of coax cable, and I'm just going to make sure I secure these wires a little more just so they don't um, get strained or possibly break. I'm using a longer piece of wood this time. It's an 8 foot 1 by 4. So I drilled a hole on the top of the long board, just like I did for the indoor version of this antenna, but I added a backer board behind it. Because this is going to be outdoors, I don't want the rabbit ears to twist around too much, so that keeps them in place from twisting and makes it a little more stable. And to keep this twin lead from flapping around too much or being snagged, I'm just going to use a tiny screw and just affix it to the board like this just to keep a little bit of slack on it so that we don't have any straining on it. All right, so here it is all finished. All I have to do now is set it up, extend these elements and aim the antenna. And to anyone that says this won't last long as an outdoor antenna, half of the outdoor antennas made nowadays are full of plastic. So even if this one fails after a few years, I'll only be out a couple of dollars and I'll still have reaped all the benefits of free TV. So for a stand, what I did was use this old concrete deck block that I had laying around and I just wedged a couple of two by fours in it and then pushed the one by four board holding the antenna into that. And that was sturdy enough for such a lightweight antenna. And I ended up moving this antenna under the eave of my house just to afford it a little more protection from the weather and uh, to prevent this coax cable from snagging or pulling on the twin lead wire i used a zip tie around the coax cable and secured it to the board with a screw and now we can go inside and see how a rabbit ear antenna is doing in terms of signal strength so you can see we're getting some good signal strength from these old rabbit ears that i've turned into an outdoor tv antenna and that's the point of this video to show you that you don't necessarily have to spend a lot of money on a store-bought antenna to receive free over-the-air TV channels reliably. If you happen to have a pair of these old rabbit ears at home or you find a pair at your local thrift store for a couple of dollars, you can set them up and still receive free TV without breaking the bank. And if you want to learn more about getting free TV with a TV antenna or a satellite dish, check the description of this video or visit my channel. I have lots of videos on there to help you get started.